The European brown bear is a close cousin of the brown bear found on the Alaskan Peninsula. About one and a half million years ago, the European bears crossed from the Old World to the New World through the Great Bering Land Bridge that once connected northeastern Siberia with Alaska. It was the same corridor through which many species passed from Europe to North America, including elk and moose. What's interesting to me is that the population densities here are extraordinary. I mean, we're seeing bears every night, and not by chance. I mean, they have these areas very well scouted. Uh, what they do is they plant patches of oats in the middle of the forest, and obviously everything eats the oats, including the bears. So they build these high stands, much like you would for a whitetail in uh, the eastern U.S., and, and come over and you sit and you wait. And these bears will come out and, and just gorge themselves trying to get fat for winter because they've got certainly severe winters here, and you just wait and wait for them to come out. They got some pretty serious ATVs around here. Hopping onto an armored personnel carrier, Vintage World War II, uh, you know, here in Russia is, is quite an experience. And I tell you that the vehicles in this country, because it's full of muskeg and, and pools and, and lots of tough country to get through, not just any old ATV is going to get through this country. Alex is the chief hunter here, and he's a, even though he's a young man, he's got a lot of experience in hunting, shot his first uh, brown bear at the age of 16 and, and has done a great deal of hunting since and is just very tuned into this area. You know, he's a true expert and that's exactly who you want when you come halfway around the world to go hunting. You want somebody who knows what's going on on the ground, not somebody who's just marketing from afar. And to see how enthusiastic he is too, I mean he gets up into a stand and he's got all the energy of somebody who's doing it for the first time and that's always a lot of fun. I was taught to hunt by my father beginning at a very young age, like my father and his father before him. For me, hunting is not only a job, it is my life. I don't know what I would do if I could not hunt. Is that bear? Yeah. good when you're trying to get a bear out in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him. Got him. That's a good bear. No, no. Watch him. Looks a little small. Watch him. Here it comes. God, I just, I can't tell if that's a, that's a good, it looks, doesn't look like a big bear. He's got a big head, but the body's not in proportion here. We're gonna let this guy pass. He's just not, just not quite big enough. Look at that, though. I mean, they're, they're using these oat fields like crazy. That's a good sign. Getting a bear in this early. That is a really good sign. They just get fat on these oats out here. Usually, the smaller bears come in first. Then we get some bigger bears coming in. So, just a matter of time now. Look at that. Look at them. Russia is one of those countries that's always had a very rich tradition in hunting. It's just it was suppressed for so many years under, under communist rule, as was everything else. And now to see this nation totally reborn, see the, the winds of change coming here, to see the freedoms, I'm very optimistic that the future of Russia is going to be a real bright one. And uh, to come over here as a hunter and, and see these people and, and see the interest in hunting and realize that even though we didn't share a language, we shared a, a common feeling and sentiment towards hunting. And I think that's really true anywhere in the world. You know, if you go 
anywhere where there's hunters, it's really a common bond, and, and that's certainly the case here in Russia. Excuse me, sir, but I'm looking for a private Ryan, Charlie company. Have you seen him? What's, what's he got? <laughs> <laughs> Fresh bear track right here. Big. It's a big print. Like their grizzly cousins, the European brown bear is a ferocious predator, able to run upwards of 30 miles per hour, or 44 feet per second, or 60 feet in the time it takes most hunters to disengage their safety, mount their rifle, and fire. Judging by the scat, this is all they've been eating out here. Look at all these oats. <laughs> What's for dinner, huh? Look at all this torn up by the bears, too. It looks like a bunch of pigs came through here. Phenomenal. Once perched above the forest, the hunters had nothing to do but wait, and watch, and hope. He's coming. All I can see is the top of his back right now. He's got to clear. Good bear? Good bear? Cool. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, Timothy. As soon as he pops up. That looks like a good bear. Get ready, get ready. He's gonna step out. Here he goes. Get ready, get ready. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot. The shot felt good. Whoa. I mean, the shot felt good. Yes. <laughs> good shot. Spasiba. <laughs> Very good. I thought he was going to come closer, but he wouldn't come any closer. Yeah. I don't think he'll be far into that, that cover out there. Big. It's a good bear, big, yeah. yeah. You can see the big old hump on it from here. Well, let's go, let's go find this bugger. The shot felt great. As soon as I shot it, it felt like it was a, a real good shot. I had a great rest, but still there's always this kind of nagging doubt, particularly on dangerous game, you know, and I couldn't get a second shot into him as he ran off. And, you know, you just have this moment of hesitation. Well, what if, you know, what if that bullet hit a little branch? What if, you know, somehow I flinched just a little bit at the end and we get into this chest high cover and I'm thinking to myself, you know, this is going to be a going to be a damn quick shot if that bear is coming at you. These things are always playing through your mind, especially on a dangerous game. You've got to be ready for them. Some frothy blood there. Yeah, he's kaput. Good. <laughs> Very good. All right. Whew. <laughs> Hot damn. Good bear. That is good, a dandy good. bear. Good bear. <laughs> Let it go. Spasiba, spasiba, spasiba. Whew. Very good. Turned out to be just a dynamite bear. I mean, he's a, it, probably between 550 and 600 pounds, and uh, he'll probably square out close to seven and a half, eight feet. Just a terrific bear. So it's, uh, it's a rush. 
to come this far to hunt bear in Russia, the land of the bear, is, uh, is truly amazing when you think only 15 years ago or less that this country was off limits and now you can go riding on a vintage World War II uh, armored personnel carrier to go out to your hunting area and my how the world has changed. With Russia awakening from its communist coma, a vast new piece of the planet is waiting to be explored by intrepid hunters. There's no telling just how amazing the rewards of such a journey might be. Hunting is but one aspect of a life well lived. To me, it's also important to have good times with good friends. I have made many American friends. When it comes to hunting, we have much in common. To our friends in Russia, for many years our governments were enemies, but our people never were, and today is living proof of that. <laughs>